Throw, 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 throw it up. Start twerking like Molly. Oh yeah. Twerking like Molly. Don't pop it like Molly. Yo, what is going on guys? My name is the Dombro and in today's video we have a slightly different one. Um, basically showing off an awesome new sidekick tool made by Chromex Mods and Hex. Um, basically what this tool is, is like, I'm going to call it a super upgrade to Xbox 360 Neighborhood. Um, because the stuff you can do with it is actually really awesome. Um, and it's all in real time as well which is really helpful and it's very user friendly I looked at it before downloading and it looked really complicated um, but once I actually got it and ran it it's actually really smooth and really user friendly and helpful um, so I hope you guys enjoy this I'm gonna go through it and explain what's happening whilst doing a uh, whilst like showing off the tool at the same time so first um, I'm just showing off the KV checker. You can check bulk KVs, which is like shit tons of KVs at once, or you can check just an individual one, like I did, because I only have one on, on my PC at the minute. Um, so it tells you, quick question: This KV is unbanned. It checks it all for you and says, "Would you like to send it to your console?" Um, I have already got one on there, so I didn't send it to console. I just left it and clicked no. Um, but you could do that if you wanted to. Um, it also has a real-time INI editor which basically allows you to edit your launch the INI in real time and then send it back to the console it makes a backup before you do it so you don't always if you mess up you can always switch back to the other original version so first you get the one off the console and then it gives you the options to edit you can edit your plugins um, you can edit the binds for the buttons and all sorts of other stuff um, that you could do in your launch to INI but this this is helpful because you don't have to um, take it off put it back on the console and reboot you can just edit it all in one time um, and then click send back to console I didn't change I, I just showed an example here by pretending to put on a GTA 5 menu so GTA V menu dot XCX um, I didn't you, you've either got the keyboard option or you can just click the bottom um, box below and you can type in how you want the plugin and where to load it from so you could pick USB or you could pick your HDD um, so you can edit it and then once you've edited it you can send it back to the console nice and quick um, and it's all good which is really fast I like that um, that you can edit it in real time and not have to worry about switching files rebooting all that shit so that's really cool you also have options for your directories like USBs all the slots and HDD um, nicely there so then you have in the next section a KV info um, part where it checks your KV tells you everything you need to know about your KV um, your console your Xbox keys um, and everything that it came from I guess I don't really know much about this part this is for the um, advanced people I guess but it basically just tells you everything about your KV what type it is um, if it's unbanned uh, what console it came from serial ID and all that sort of stuff and then gives you the option to send it to your console again uh, if if it's unbanned and you want to do that um, you can also generate a CPU key dot bin as well from here um, next you have a module checker basically what this does is it checks what plugins are being used in your Xbox so as you can see now um, I sign into an account and um, it obviously it loads the dashboard and then it would load whatever plugins you have set up and all that jazz so when I click the load button in a second it will um, start loading all the plugins and show you what's running and how much it uses all the info about it which is really nice if you needed to know the size and stuff if you wanted to know what's up but it's really clever how this works because I didn't think that this shit could be done so this is like pretty next level 
as you can see it's now loaded them all and it gives you a little box to tell you that it's done um, and then here it shows off all the all the information about the plugins okay so here we have the um, game launcher what you have to do first is you have to set the directory for where your games are loaded so for me it was HDD and then just a folder called games so I had to type in games and then I had to click save directory um, so you'd have to check that as well and then all you need to do is load your games and it will load all the XEXs that runs games and what games you have it tells you exactly what it is and it, that, that is really awesome um, because it's really clear and helps understand and see we'll come back to that in a second um, here we have the settings this is for the um, console temperature and the little misc fun things that you can do with your console um, I have a slim so some of the LEDs don't work um, they it, it tells me it's green I tried changing it to red but it didn't change um, it just turned off and then when I changed it back to green it came back um, but you can set your fan speed you can change uh, your LEDs on the fat consoles it does say underneath that this is for fat consoles only um, but the power off the LED so you can turn it on off or flashing and flashing does turn off uh, flashing doesn't do anything but off turns it off and on turns it back on um, ejecting the disc tray does work uh, which is really cool because that's sending it from your PC to your um, Xbox without you even having to open it um, you can also check what your temperatures are on your console and have the LEDs to flash um, and animate but obviously for fat consoles only um, the fan speed is really helpful because if you are like me my console gets hot as fuck really quick so what you what I did is I set it to about 80 and left it on through the games uh, it kept the RGH really 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 like it kept it it was a bit loud because the fans pushing really fast but it kept it nice and cool uh, which is really helpful because it didn't heat up my room either because my room's so small um, you have back to the game launcher as you saw there you can right click the XEX that you want to launch um, and then it le gives you the option to launch the default.xex, the default underscore mp.xex or the default.xb I think it was um, but they're all for the, the mp.xex is for COD games um, as you'll see after I've loaded GTA um, so I loaded the default XEX and the game booted really smooth so I went back to try and adjust the fan speed and when I did it in a game it kind of bugged out so you have to be on dashboard for that um, as you'll see in a second I set it and the game completely just crashed so um, I just show off the cold reboot which is really quick that was the fastest reboot I've ever done um, I don't know how he's done that bit but usually my console takes fucking ages to boot um, I don't know why but yeah I rebooted and then I show off that it still connects whilst it's rebooted um, and when it's rebooted you can go back into the games launcher and boot a different game I will show off booting uh, MW2 I haven't played that game in ages um, and I still have a menu on there which is pretty crazy so you'll see in a second rebooting see that was absolutely rapid um, and then it should load I'll I boot GTA I think again and then I'll go back to the dashboard and boot MW2 so now the games booted uh, I can click whatever menu I have I didn't realize I had a menu on um, but I click the menu the menu loads and I just show off a bit of a game so I hope you guys enjoyed this if you did leave a like down below guys it helps my channel greatly if you are new feel free to subscribe guys a new GTA video out will be out soon um, I messed up last night and I uploaded the wrong video so I fixed that now um, 
The download will be below for this tool in the description thanks to Chrome X Mods. I'll link his um, channel and I'll link his thread on 7 Sins for this um, tool. So I hope you enjoyed this and have a wonderful rest of your day guys. Peace. But they love when you be fucking up Ain't it funny how it goes, I ain't tryna bluff It's kinda funny how it started back in 8th grade They would hate and degrade on my damn name Saying you so whack, but I maintain Now these fake bitches tryna give me